Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Al. Today we're gonna connect to Reddit. So the idea for the app for today is to read through the uh, threads, some threads on Reddit, like for the Reddit, uh, to post a new Reddit thread and all of that. So in order to do that, first we need to create our own Reddit app. So we need to go to reddit.com slash press slash apps. Okay, and click here, are you a developer, create an app. Let's create an app. Let's do coding with Ado, with a web app. Let's say testing Reddit API. And the redirect, let's do HTTP, local host. Oh, let's do that, let's do Reddit callback. Another robot, and create app. Perfect. So now that we have that, we can get started and create our code, okay? So going back to our code, let's do first the npm init y to create the uh, package. Let's install uh, .env express, and we're gonna do uh, something different. Let's do request. Let's do request promise, and let's do fs. So the idea for today is I'm going to do the auth and the token response from the auth. We're going to save it into a text file. So we're kind of like doing like that. So first thing we actually need to create is the hotel. So we're going to need to add the client, client ID, which is going to be the app ID that we just created. We're going to need the client secret which is gonna be the secret that is also from the app. We're gonna need the redirect URI, which is gonna be the one that we just added. And uh, we can create a new iteration. You can do whatever here, like whatever, actually. Okay, so now let's create our index.js file. So the idea of the index.js file, First, we need to require not dead, require then copy. Let's do cloud express equal to require express. Let's do const rp is gonna be the require request promise. It's different from the one that we have been using, but yeah, let's let's move a little, let's change a little bit. Let's do const fs equal to require. Uh, now let's initialize app because app equals to new so I can express that and they call the port since we need a a, um, a redirect to always be the same so it's gonna be the three thousand okay so let's first create our endpoint to the login so we're gonna do an app dot get a slash auth, let's call it slash reddit, okay, to the reg press, and this will be a post out URL, is it gonna be, is it gonna be the out URL that we wanna build? So this is https da, 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 reddit.com slash api slash v1 slash authorize client id uh, actually, let me change this into the this codes. Okay, so basically, this is gonna be process of them dot client ID and a response type is gonna be a code. Uh, so, all tools. A uh, where I need also state looks like a random, you know, whatever. Here's sort of like a random string that we gotta create. Um, let's do redirect URI is gonna be the process dot m dot redirect URI and we need the duration it's gonna be a permanent so let's say that the the token that we're creating is gonna be forever and the scope we're gonna need read scope we're gonna need read and submit. Okay, we see if we're gonna need both. And then we're gonna do a rest of redirect 
to that out URL. Okay, so clicking on that, we'll be able to access to a. It, it will redirect us to Reddit to log in, so we can you know access with our account, and then it will call back here. So it will call back to app dot get dot out. Sorry, dot with the ready. I think it's Reddit slash callback. And this is going to be an async regress. Okay. And in here, we're going to need to get the call from the reg query. And we're going to need to transform the call into an access token. So we're going to need to do a call to Reddit to transform that. So we're going to need to do like cost options, we're going to do a, the method. This is going to be a post. The URI is going to be the HTTPS reddit.com slash API slash v1 slash access token. We're going to need also the auth method, which is going to be the user, the broad method, then dot client ID and the pass. It's going to be the process of then dot client secret. We're going to do a form data, which is going to be a ground type authorization code. The code is going to be the code that we already have. And the ready red URI is going to be the process of then dot ready red URI. Okay. We're now also needed to send the headers, the user agent that we created, user agent, the process of then dot user agent, okay, and all this is going to be in a JSON. Okay, so that's the options. So now that we have the options, we can do a request promise. So we can do like a try catch here. So dot error error and we can do like const response equals to an await rp with the options and do like a you know it, now in option in response we have the access token so as we said we're gonna save that access token into a file so we can use it in the other endpoints in a normal scenario you would save this into you know your database but in this case i'm going to save it here in an excel file so we can you know do the other endpoints so we're going to do like an fs write file let's do reddit token dot txt let's send a response dot access token let's do error here uh, if error then Token. Okay. Uh, else console. Okay. Saved. Okay. And at the end, let's do like a rest and a login. Okay, so basically, we are changing the code to an access token, sending the access token into our red token.txt that we will be sent here, so we can access to the token in the other endpoints. So let's do like an easy endpoint just to test all these things. Let's do app.get list, for example. It's already an async red red. Okay. And the idea here is to access a list of a uh, Reddit posts, you know, threads. So we're gonna do ghost options equals to. Let's do a method. It's gonna be the get. The URI is gonna be HTTPS or slash hot. Let's do headers. To the authorization 
We had a token and we forgot to create a token, so so closed token equals to fs read file sync and reddit token txt. Uh, I think we had to also do yeah, eight and the header authorization better than uh, the user agent we need to send it user agent doing the process dot then dot user agent and now that we have that we have to like a try catch error console error 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 and do like a ghost response equals to one await rp options we actually forgot to do the actually so um and then we can do like a red dot json the response so basically we are just gonna you know print out whatever is in that response and let's do app dot listen right so we we know that the uh, express is working we're gonna do like a message here saying console log app is running okay clear it's clear let's do another index and um, let's do it again okay perfect i'll be running okay so let's go to our browser here let's do localhost 3000 house dash reddit so allow coding without to access both to read links etc allow And we have a login. Um, so now if we go back to the code, um, we can see that we have the token saved, you know, and we have this token and everything. Okay, so let's try and do our endpoint this slash list. This red no, list. Perfect. So this is like the hot on reddit so we can see all these threads and you know some urls reviews etc some posts here on reddit okay so now let's do uh let's insert a new reddit thread and you reddit post so let's go back to the code okay and let's call that out okay so in order to do like a post trade eh, we need to do let's do like an app Let's do it in a get here so we can access it directly. So let's do like create post. Let's do a sync reg ref. Let's do calls token save as before is equals to fs or read file sync with the reddit token.txt utf8. Let's do calls options equals to method maybe post let's do uri equals to https and post dot reddit dot coms com slash api slash submit okay let's do headers so that's going to be authorization bearer token. Let's do user agent process dot m dot user agent. And then let's do a form. So what we're gonna submit, let's do first the API type, it's gonna be a shadow. We're gonna send the kind is gonna be cell. We're gonna see SR, so the developer. And now we have the title. So let's do coding with auto is the best YouTube channel. 
Let's do this. You should go and check. And let's do HTTPS. Uh, let's actually copy and paste here. To be a YouTube calling with Tado. And now we have to do the shades on true. Okay, and as before, we do a try catch. Error, console, error, error, error. And let's do calls response equals to an await RP options. And we can do a red JSON response. Okay, so as we have already the token saved, we don't need to redo the login because we already have the token here already token. So we just need to go to this URL. So let's go to our browser. Let's go to localhost with thousands, let's create both. And we have without errors and the data here are developer comments. So if we click on that, we should have Connectado is the best YouTube channel. You should go and check. Also, we can click here and go to there. We're there waiting for approval from moderators, of course, because we are using the R developer. Um, this is like if we want to change the channel, we just go here instead of like that SR developer. We can do like SR your own, uh, you know, R channel, whatever you want. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you post Todd Gray post here on Reddit, how you list post on Reddit. If you need anything else, just let me know. Please like, subscribe, and I'm here to help everybody. And see you on the next video. Bye-bye.